showing you how to open up a certain file type with the program every time you obviously have multiple file types in your in your computer and the more programs you have installed can also affect this um, at the same time affecting how many file types you have it also opens up how many programs you can associate a file type with now this is probably a little bit confusing before so I'll continue on with the tutorial and it should explain everything any questions you have I'll go to your control panel change your view by the category and go to programs and then under default programs click on make a file type always open in a specific program now you got this long list of file types now say you want to well file types and protocols now say you want to make your mp3 files open up in iTunes at all times so it's an alphabetical order you will go to M and there's mp3 and mine's associated with iTunes and I want it to I'm gonna do the opposite of what I said earlier and make it go to Windows Media Player it's gonna change it load and there it is Windows Media Player um, say you want uh, an AVI file to load in QuickTime and, and your AVI file automatically opens in Windows Media Player well as if you have QuickTime install it should uh, it should open up in recommended programs and you click on that and there's that that's just, that's just the basic way to changing it I wouldn't do this for every file type and go through here and edit every one because there's most there's a huge chance that you won't use every type of file type in here a daily basis on a daily basis. A, a huge chance there's there's way too many file types to uh, change them all, and there's a lot of variants of file types too. So I I wouldn't I recommend you don't mess with the protocols and change the program because most of the time they're associated with that program for a reason. And there's also file types that are only that only w one type of program can open up. Like Camtasia Studio can only open up Camtasia Studio files, like Camrec and all that. Unless there's another program out there that was developed and programmed to open up those files. Well, that's it with this tutorial. Hopefully, it helped. And have a nice day.